Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I had recorded an entire episode, episode 33, uh, but unfortunately I had forgot that I had put my microphone away because the cat was playing with it, and I really didn't want her to do that while I was not home, at least. So, yeah, she... Uh, basically made sure that uh, episode 33 uh, was not episode 33. But uh, I did a lot of stuff in episode 33, and instead of uh, you watching and uh, joining in on my labors, you're just going to get to see the fruit of my labors. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but we'll see. So, if we look here, I have built a really big facility and in this facility is eight uh, Mark II miners which we have here and they are if you look overclocked to 200% uh, six of them and two of them are to 150% so that means that we have a total of 900 iron coming out six times 120 plus uh, two times uh, one uh, plus two times ninety is nine hundred, which means two full four hundred and fifty belts. So the four of the miners are down here. There are two upstairs over there, which uh, you can't see right now, but I can show you in a little bit. And over here on the other side, we will also have a couple of miners. And they are also set up and functioning. Oops. Okay, so I have also set up truck stations, two truck stations, one for each of the 450 belts. And then I have set up the trucks as well. They are going already. So that's good. If we look up here, you can see I have a facility up here with a couple of miners in it. Let's just go in and take a look. Whoops. Here we go. And it looks like this. Pretty simple setup. Okay, and that ore is coming around here. Going in there and going down and joining up with the rest of it. So another 900 uh, iron ore being produced every minute. So that's good. Now, over at the iron smelting facility, also stuff has happened. And while we run over there, I can tell you I have been doing quite a bit of thinking uh, because while I do think it would be really cool to get uh, trucks going all over the place and working as I would like, and not piling up in heaps uh, on their backs and stuff like that. I just don't think it's possible. I mean, I am having so many problems with these trucks and it's really slowing the gameplay down. So we're at episode 33 now and we're setting up uh, in this episode, we're getting uh, iron reinforced iron plate going. So 33 episodes and we're doing reinforced iron plate. That is way too slow. And granted, I do have uh, oil going and I do oil power or fuel power and I do have plastic and everything unlocked, but still 33 episodes and we're setting up reinforced iron plate. I am just not happy with that. Yes, I missed something here. Uh, actually, I missed a lot. But uh, before I fix that, let's uh, have a look here. I have changed the way this is coming in. So we have two trucks now coming in with ore to the two back uh, truck stations. We have another two here, but they are not actually delivering anything. And the two uh, full belts coming from right over here, coming up directly, they are now going into these four. 
uh, uh, industrial containers. And in the bottom, I have made this cross, as you can see. So the two coming in on the right, if we're looking this way, they cross over and go into here, and the two coming in on the left, in, from this one, are going crossing over and going in there. Which means that all four uh, miners, or all four uh, 450 or Mach 4 belts, they are now uh, mixing together, which I really like. Uh, I noticed, yeah, we need to hook that up so that it's going there as well. So it's going full speed, so because we have like four outputs and four inputs, right? So yeah, the belts, belts are mixing and everything is being supplied evenly. So I'm really happy about that. I think that's a good solution, even though it looks a little bit weird maybe with the, the crossover. I can live with that. It's not something that we'll see on a regular basis. Actually, I don't, we might not need to pull that down. Actually, I won't need to pull that down. So let's get this going. So it needs to come to here. And go in there. That's great. Yeah. Good. And then this one needs to come to here, I believe. Go in there. Yeah. And then this one will come in. I need a pole somewhere. Let's see. Where do we need a pole? I think we need it here. Two. So that can come in there and go into there. That looks straight to, to me as well. And then this one we need to get down. So if we put a belt in here or a pole in here, like so. Is that right? Yeah. And then we put a coal in here, like so that'll work. Let's test it. Yeah, that'll work. Then this can come down and run over to this one. And then it can come down again. Like that. And not too far. Yeah, it was too far. I hope it can go back one. Whoops, auto save. Uh, no. Four, four. There. there we go. And go in there. Alright. So all of that is running. So I also put in these uh, jump pads. So if we go upstairs, we have our two mining setups. What's going on here? Why isn't this going? Still not going. It's not even getting ore in. Uh, let's try that again. Going now? Yeah. Why is none of this going? Why is it getting ore? Okay, ore is coming there. It's coming down. Okay, it's coming now. Alright, so this just needs to fill up. Alright, so we have the outputs there. And if we jump up one more floor, we need some walls there. Let's fix that real quick. That is going to bug me. There and there. We'll jump upstairs. And up here, we have two new setups of smelters. And it's 15 on each, so it's another two full belts. Why isn't this getting any... Oh, it's facing the wrong way. That's not good. Let's just fix that. Fix that down there. OK. 
Okay, it's fine. So come up to there. Kill that. Put in the conveyor wall. And put in the belt. Alright. So that fixes that up here. This one is going, so that's all good. And the ore is coming along, and we have ingots over here as well. All fine and dandy. Let's jump down. Whoa, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Need to fix this over here. Where do I need to fix it? Not on this floor, on the other floor, my bad. Let's go do that. So all of these should be running now. Yeah, they are. Very good, very good. And let's jump down again. And over here I need to fix it. This is what needs fixing. All right. So there we go. And if we jump up top again real quick, everything should be running. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna die. Crap. Okay. At least we're pretty close to home. Not too bad. Not too bad. I did not mean to fly out that in that fashion. See what I mean about the trucks not really working. Those two are gonna be fighting for a while. And that really bugs me. It really bugs me that it doesn't work properly. Put our things on again. I did put up a jelly thing here, but we missed that by a mile with our little fall there. So yeah. Okay. So what else have I been doing? Well, if we come over this way, I have actually been doing quite a bit. I have set up a new facility over here, a big one, pretty big one. And if we come in here, you will see that I have actually set it up to work with trucks. We have trucks, uh, we have room for truck stops here and over here. And the trucks would come in here and go down, unload or load, and go out again. But I think we're skipping the trucks for now and doing belts instead. And then when we get the new update, the next update with the trains, then these bridges will be converted from truck bridges to train bridges. And hopefully everything will work much, much smoother than, uh, than it does now. We need to get upstairs. So yeah, uh, I feel like I've given it a really good shot on the trucks, but they have not cooperated at all. So trucks are out. I'm still going to keep the series called uh, Satisfactory Trucks, and then when Satisfactory, uh, when the trains come in, we'll start a new series, continue on this factory, but we'll just start a new series and call it Satisfactory Trains. So up here we have assemblers and they need to be configured to reinforced iron plates. Darn it. And there are 19 assemblers set up for reinforced iron plate. That was already configured. Let's Man, I hate when I forget stuff like that. All right, let's 
just configure them real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we'll get both uh, iron plate and screws going over here via belt from our central hub. That is already configured. What about this one? Nope. All right. So I guess I just configured the ends or what? Isn't very practical. Let's go. Luckily, we do have a ton of encased industrial beams, so there's that. And let's see, do we have power for everything? I'm not sure. No, we don't. I just hooked up a couple. Okay, so I'll fix that a little bit later. Right now, I just want the materials going. So what I'm thinking is that we could raise this up if we do like this. And we just don't need those in there. And we just put some walls. Put the walls on uh, eight. We put the walls on here. And a foundation. 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 Let's put these walls on first. And here. We want walls as well. And here. That way we can have the belts running up here and that should be okay. So yeah, I kind of like that idea. So let's tear this out. And we can tear that out. Stick the walls on there. Stick the foundations in there. And all this off as well. Save. Auto save. Whatever you want to call it. This auto save is the correct terminology. Alright. So there we go. We have a path. Now we just need to get the iron going and the screws. So if we come up top here, see do we have enough encased industrial beams for this endeavor? No, we most certainly do not. Let's grab some. Doesn't always understand that I'm holding down control for whatever reason. Don't need these here. Alright. That should hopefully be enough. And let's come up and have a look at how we can get the iron plate moving. So the iron plate is in this one, I do believe. Yes, it is. But what we could do is come out. This and run down the side here. And I do want it to come up. If we put a stack there, that, and then we have the screws here. Yeah. What's in here? Iron plate. Let's just grab that. Uh, we have nowhere near enough iron plate on us, I think. But let's 
let's get rid of this concrete and grab another stack. Alright, so we have the screws here. And we'll do the same thing with them. So... I think... This one out one further? Yeah, it is. Let's just pull it out one further. And like that. And then it can come around like that. And come up. And come up again. So right around here, I think we'll do it. And get this going up here. And then it can come up on top. On this one. Alright, so that is screws and plates coming along. The plates don't actually need to run as fast as the screws, but it's fine. Right? So, let's see, how far can this go? I wonder... Will it reach that? Yes, it will. This might be a hot mess uh, right now, or become a hot mess right now, but we'll fix that up later when the trains come in. Now, right now, I just want to make progress and and get things done, produce stuff. I mean, that's what the game is all about. And to be honest, I acknowledge that maybe this factory so far hasn't been very satisfactory. So. Yeah. Let's see, can we get this somewhat right? Yeah, maybe. It doesn't look completely off, but it is a little bit off. We need to move them one. Something like that. Does that work? Might not be able to get it completely straight. I think we will. Okay, never mind. There. And off we go. Here. Hopefully these can go under. We don't have to make them one higher again. Not actually sure. Let's see, it has to be able to come this far, right? That one, two, three, four, five. That works. One, two, three, four, five. So over here. It can't go under. Darn it, we have to go up on her. Fine. For now, I'll just leave it like that, and I'll fix it off camera. You don't have to sit through that. Come on, come on, there. There we go. All right, we're almost there. Let's leave this, and we're at it. And get this going. Oh. I put it in the middle. More or less. So one, two. Put 
them here. Come on. My mouse is really being annoying once in a while at the moment. And that annoys me greatly because I love my mouse. My mouse is awesome. Or at least it used to be. Don't know why it's acting up at the moment. Sometimes it doesn't really register my clicks, it seems like. And that can be very frustrating when you think you're clicking and you're not. to come down and this way and come in here and let's see one, two, three, four, five. that's perfect so we have one here should be doing the top ones first, that's easier, I think, but I'm not. So. And then we'll turn this and have it right here. And a nice tight line. And we'll come down, when is that one? Five, so it's right here. Will it be able to reach this right on the edge under? Top one first. Yes, it will. And then we need to get it around and into these two things. See, can that come down there? No. Okay. So we also need a splitter because it needs to come over and go into that one as well. Oh, I almost fell off there. So let's see. How can we do this? We need a splitter. Logistics, better, and it will come in here. But we need to place the top one first. Let's try this. Let's place it down, and if we Here, this one can come in there, can this one come in there, yes it can, and will we then be able to put the splitter up top, that is the question, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so we'll put one here, And another splitter. We are able to. Excellent. So we just need to line this up. Oh, of course we are. It's uh, up too high, not one high. My, I'm not thinking. Uh, all right. So that looks quite lined up to me. And then we just need this to come in 
there. That to come in there. We have material flowing, at least on one side. And we should get which one producing? This one. Let's see. Oh, it needs 120 screws per minute, so it can't be the... Alright, so that's my bad. We need to upgrade these. Okay. I'll go around doing that. But this should now be producing just fine. Fantastic. And we'll get 19 machines doing that. Cool. So that's a total of what, 95? Yeah, 95. Reinforced iron plate per minute. That we'll be making. I think that's pretty good. Move that conveyor pole so we can stick this one in. And there we go. Alright. We have material. Fantastic. Alright. So now we just need to power it all up. And I will do that in between episodes, I think. And then we will see together how... Uh, this will work in the next one but first let's just run over and take a look at the man because I want to see what the man has been up to I think it has been up to something uh, yes it has we have researched mycelia this type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R&D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier 3. Okay. So there is a lot of stuff that we need to research. Let's research alien organs again. I have some right here. I think I already researched them once, but I'm not sure. So let's also save alien organs. Search those. Let's take the rest back. All right. So yeah, we made some good progress here, uh, especially because we're not using trucks. <laughs> so and that is what we're going to be keep keeping doing until we get the trains, because we need to make more project progress. Thirty three epi episodes and just getting reinforced iron plates going is just not acceptable so we are going to move forward at a lot faster pace from now on so uh, join me next time to see the whole reinforced iron plate facility up and running and uh, yeah so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i'll see you next time